and welcome back to this new Pixel Ray tutorial and today we make a quick scene like this. So here we are in our fresh blender scene and today we want to use here this one and our guy here. And first of all I want to adjust here uh, our camera. So uh, yeah, let's go here with the 0, uh, minus 10 and a 1.5. 100 103 in the x and everything else should be zero okay uh focal length is 25 that's looking good here right now and we want to add a cube here this one and this cube should be on z value of minus one and we can scale this up here to uh, 20. Okay, we want to use here this street lamp uh, today. So, uh, yeah, let's duplicate or bring this here to 4.5. Duplicate this one and minus this on for minus 4.5. And <clears throat> that's it for the pavement maybe let's bring uh these lights a little bit more here into the front yeah we want to create a fence for our pavement so let's create a quick one here so we want to use a cube and yeah let's scale this one by one here and we need something like 0.05 and point 0, 0.025 that's uh, looking good here right now and we want to put this up by one meter something like this and let's duplicate let's duplicate this one here and yeah we have to change something like uh, yeah let's bring this one a little bit down here maybe something like this and the only thing which we want to change here is the last value which will be 0 0.01 something like this and let's duplicate this one again bring this one down here to 0.1 I think something like this is cool and we need another we need another cube which will be uh, 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 0.5 point uh, no sorry which will be 0 0.05 0.05 and 1 and let's bring this one a little bit here down and so it will fit here something like this maybe let's put it a little bit up here okay that's looking good here right now and the last one is a cube which is <laughs> point oh one point oh one and point forty five and we can put this one here between so to maybe something like this and now we want to add here an array modifier change the value here to nine and put this one here maybe to ten something like this and yeah that's okay here for this one. Let's put this one into a collection. Pre select all, press M, and let's rename this or name this fence. That's okay. <laughs> but our uh, pavement is here inside, so that's looking better. And what we can do here now to duplicate this um, instance we can uh, make a plane uh, which is not in this uh, uh, collection here right now plane uh, 
maybe let's rename this one here to fence cloner and we want to put um a instance of this fence here into the um <clears throat> the plane or make it the children of the plane so uh yeah select this fence thing <laughs> uh, hold down the mouse button and press shift press shift and yeah put this one inside here and when we are going here into the array modifier now we can see that uh, yeah the <laughs> Uh, plane is uh, duplicating here but we want to duplicate all the stuff so we have to go here into the object properties instancing and select faces and now we can see that uh, the whole everything is uh, duplicating here right now so but we don't want to see um, yeah, the clone object which is the plane so we have to deselect viewport and render and now we can uh, yeah duplicate here our fence so uh, yeah, let's put this one a little bit here in the back and to the side so that it will fit here into our scene maybe something like this and yeah, I think that's okay here for now uh, what we want to do now is uh, to bring in here uh, the photo from Unsplash, which I will uh, put into the description. So let's uh, see what we can do here right now. Yeah, let's go here into image as planes, uh, select this one. We want to use this from Paul Gilmore, but we don't want to use an alpha. So let's select this here. And yeah, now we are having here this window inside of our blender. <laughs> and let's scale this one really big so it will fit here into the background. So let's see. Bring this a little bit more here right now. And yeah, as always, if you have a better image or something like this, you can always use this uh, by yourself. But yeah, okay, so let's uh, let's see. We are here now in the, we have scaled here now our image and let's go here into the shading because uh, our image uh, should not have any, uh, any roughness here or specular um, or any reflections. Then, so something like this. And now I want to have this a little bit um, brighter, this uh, sky thing. So let's uh, put uh, the whole thing here into the emission. But um, yeah, let's uh, search here for a rare a curve. We have a little bit more contrast here right now. So let's uh, make this curve a little bit more, something like this. Yeah, and I think that's uh, looking good here right now. And let's enable here the EV settings, ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. Uh, we don't need don't need refraction now, so we can leave it uh, half rest trace off maximum roughness and edge fading. Okay, that's um, this part here for the scene. I want to use a PBR texture for the pavement from ambient CG. So uh, let's bring back here a new material and pavement. Okay. Uh, let's select here the principal BSDF. We have node wrangler enabled. Press Ctrl, Shift, and T. And we want to go here with the paving stone stuff we need only the color map, uh, the normal map here and the roughness uh, and press principal texture setup. And yeah, now we are having uh, this going on here. It's a little bit too big here. So we can go ahead and change the value to 10 by five something like this 
And when we are adding here a color ramp between the roughness and the principal BSDF, and bring the black slider a little bit down, um, we can see that we are having here some reflections on the floor. Maybe let's go here into the render mode and disable the light here now. We can see that we are having here some stuff going on. Some reflections, which is really cool. So that's uh, our scene here for now. That's the floor. And maybe we, because we are an Eevee, um, we need some HDRI. So let's update this one here. Easy HDRI plugin. And let's create here a world. And I don't want to have something bright stuff going on. So maybe let's go here with some dark darkness. So we have something around here in our scene. Um, and we have some, some light here going on. And yeah, we can always change here the rotation if we want to. But I think something like this is uh, really cool here and yeah as you can see it's really really dark here and um but i want to have uh, a little bit of light but first i think we uh, have to uh, put a text or a material here on our fence really quick yeah let's put here uh, a material on it and we make a yeah, the dark uh, roughness, put the roughness a little bit down, something like this. And when we want to um, add here all the textures on the fence, we have to select uh, all of our cubes and select um, the, <laughs> uh, the cube, which has the material on it as at least and then we have to press Control L and press uh, Link Materials and then everything has the same material on it. So that's looking better here right now. And yeah, for the last stuff here, I want to go and add here or use here our light, but it's really bright here right now. So let's see that we can bring this a little bit down and i want to add a little bit of uh, rim light here uh, for our uh, here for our um street lights so uh let's make this a little bit more that will it will fit here into our scene maybe let's uh, go here with something orangish and enable here contact shadows and i think that's looking better here right now so and as always the scene works uh, with cycles as well thank you for watching this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out my channel all the next videos see you there and bye